the middle 40 days of the 120 day program what is it all about what do you need to do let's get into it and i am going to teach it to you let's go all righty then let's come on down into our training window here and i'm going to talk to you guys about the middle 40 days here is what we're gonna be focused on here today. You have already completed out your first 40 days. You hopefully have gotten your hardware set up. This is everything from your PC, your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor set up. You've got the proper setup and layout on your charts. All that should be all done. The videos you have gone through, the first series of videos, again, whether it is going through the lesson library in order, or if you are on the new website in the member section, you should have gone through all those videos, taken a lot of good notes. You feel confident that if we talk about the strategies that you are going to be ready so we are now talking the same language when we're talking about two finger salutes double dcdms hmds all those acronyms you should know all those and if you don't refer back to your notes or back to the video so we are here now crossing into making that threshold barrier tur turn into the middle 40 days what are we doing here you should have the the knowledge base for yourself and you should be ready to choose. The first thing is choosing three or four strategies that really speak to you. What are your three or four? Take your notes out right now, write it down on a beat, on a paper, hopefully it's in a spiral notepad if you're gonna be doing this off on the side. Some things you need to have physically at your desk. Other things, I don't mind if you have them digital copies in your notes, but this, I want a physical copy of this. So pause the video here, get your notes out, make sure you got a spiral notebook. This one right here is choosing your three or four. I think you should write these down on paper nearby to you so that you know what you've chosen at the beginning three or four strategies so it's going to be double cross level move uh, two finger salute double dots hmds shark back shark tails what is it going to be write them down that is the first key to the middle 40 days the middle 40 days here is going to be focused on mechanics taking a lot of trades using these three or four strategies that you have um, chosen as yours and mastering them. I don't want you to be a jack of all trades, although I do want you to learn all of our strategies, which you did as you went through the videos right here. You know if I talk to you about, uh, maybe it's not gonna be your personal strategy, but the J-hook is an example, or the turtle. You need to know if a turtle or a J-hook shows up, how does it apply to your three or four strategies? It, are those other strategies in confluence with your setup right now, or are they going against it? So you should still know generally about them, but your specific three or four right here, you need to master these. Know every single thing about them. If it's a double cross, double move, what do you need to know? Like I'll give an example with the double cross, double move. You got the double cross coming in, what about the gold line, right? What is the, the gold line option up here, okay? That gold, what can you do here? Can you reverse off of it? Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yes. How about uh, two try rule? Yes. You should know every single thing about that. What's two try rule? Where are the stop outs on this? Can you play this multiple times? Um, how do you mitigate a trade off of this? How do you, uh, you know, do you take multiple targets? Hopefully you know not to. You're not taking multiple targets on one of these. You are holding all the way out to the gold line, etc. Stuff like that. You want to do every single one of those. You should not be tripped up by any of my questions. I should be able to ask you any question from beginning to end on those three or four. All right, that is the key. Know everything about these. And I will say, first thing to do during this middle 40 days is go re-watch every video related to your three or four, okay? This is part two, re-watch those. And I know a lot of you guys think that you know the strategies. I cannot tell you how many people that I see. You go out there and I see videos or I see screenshots of things and you think you know something and then I find out that you don't. Okay, listen, I don't know why this is. I think it's human nature thing. You need to see things multiple times before they settle in. I don't care who you are, how smart you are, what kind of notes you took. For some reason, there is something about watching something again that you need to go back and revisit your notes and rewatch those videos. That is important on those three or four strategies that are gonna be yours. Remember, this is your business, okay? You need to take this very seriously. This is not just coming out here willy-nilly, taking shots at things. We are not gambling. We are out here to make certain that we've got things in our favor. We are applying our edge, and we are taking our trades according to our strategies and our notes, okay? So um, next thing, in the 
in the after you've rewatched to make sure you know those get into the mechanics what do we want to know about mechanics mechanics are entering in your positions moving your stops and targets things like adjusting your charts uh, zooming in zooming out on your charts setting up the ranges how to move your charts around get things proper um, when you press that uh, close button when you are pressing the buy and sell getting very quick on those that is important here with the mechanics that's things like again really moving those stops and targets we've addressed that type of stuff in the other videos but that is important for you to practice those things. Now you are implementing the stuff that you've already learned in the videos. Apply those here in your middle 40 days, focused on your personal mechanics that you feel very comfortable with your tools. This is all about, uh, I'll give an example of, I still remember when I first started swinging a hammer, I would watch my dad outside, he'd be working on stuff, he could just, you know, bam, 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 hitting the, with a hammer, and I'm like, okay, first time my dad's like, okay, here, nail this in. You're holding that nail with your two fingers, and you're like, you know, <laughs> swinging a hammer, like, feel like you're, you know, a third grader, like, you just, things just don't feel right, but the more times that you slam that hammer, all of a sudden, you just become a pro, like, you can just, Put a nail up there, bam, put it up there, bam, well, what, bam, uh, without worrying about slamming your finger and things because you have worked on that mechanic. That is a mechanic. Again, you know what to do, right? I know how to hit the hammer. Um, I'm looking to hit the nail with the hammer. I know the idea, but doing it is different than knowing it, right? Same thing uh, with uh, throwing my kids into a pool kind of thing. Like they needed to go through training, swimming in a pool first. I can tell them how to swim, but it's different when you put them in the water. You've got to learn it. You've got to do it yourself, okay? Uh, that is important. Uh, let's see if I can zoom this out just a little bit. There we go. Um, so next thing, stops and losers. We are focused here in the middle 40 days on your stops. What kind of stops do we have? You should know that we've got our three different types, right? What are those three different types? We've got the cross, We've got a dot and we've got a box, right? And if you don't know those three, right? Ask yourself why you don't know that right now. A stop on any kind of cross play, gonna be at the bottom or the top of a cross. What about a dot? A dot break, again, top or bottom. Box break, top or bottom. This should be very basic, but you need to know those and you need to execute on those during this middle 40 days. This is all about the stops here in the middle 40 days. I want you to make sure that you are a stop machine. You get the habit of using your stops, applying your stops, learning to trust your stops that if you put those stops in the proper location, if you allow the trades to work out the way that they are designed, that your profit factors will show the results at the end. Focus on the stops and the losers. Become a good loser in the middle 40 days. It's all about being a great loser here in your middle 40 days. We will focus on winners over here in the final 40 days, but right now I want you to get into the, the losers. How do we do some of that? Some of this is in the middle 40 days here on these three or four strategies. I want you to take these unfiltered. Now, what does that mean? Unfiltered means if you are a headshot player, for example, I want you to take every single one of those headshots. I don't care if the Mac V is going against you or not. The Mac V filter is going to tell you on the left hand side, well, uh, right now the Mac V says it's longs favorable. Okay, or not favorable because that's confusing because there's that's right in the middle of your screen based on our favorable direct screen and indicator. But if the Mac V ultimate is green, you know that you should be looking for a long. Doesn't matter. If you see a red headshot, are you going to take it? If it's in your middle 40 days, yes. I want you to take every single one of those because what I want you to do is get into bad trades, right? The idea here is like this. So I've got some price coming down into this area. We start to move up. And now as price moves up, the Mac V is green over here. We have, uh, whoops, we've shown Mac V all green. It doesn't matter right here. If you get that um, red headshot set up right here. I want you to go ahead and take that short. Now, the price is probably going to come up here and stop you out. That's good. What I want you to do is practice entering into that trade, knowing mentally you need to tell yourself, well, yeah, this one's probably going to lose, okay? And that your stop is right there. Be okay with it. And if the price comes back up and into this area, go ahead and practice your two try rule. As we come back through it again, you've got your white horizontal line right here. As we break back through, if this turns out to be a better play, I want you to take it again and do a plus one. Practice your two try rule. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, go back and watch those videos. This should be review for you at this point. If you're getting into the middle 40 days and watching this video, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, ask yourself why. And again, come to a Mentorship Monday um, session where we've got open mic night. You can come and ask me the questions, but you will want to make sure that you know on a two try rule, for instance, you're entering in right there, 
plus one. Again, plus one rule does not mean just plus one contract. It could be plus one or more, but you need to increase your contract size from trades one through five. Headshots, we're gonna take every single one of them. Hopefully you get the point here with this example. You are gonna take all of them. If you are double cross double move, doesn't matter. Take every single one of them as that double cross double move, regardless of the MACV filtering right now or other filters we have others like uh waiting for a, uh, a ready up or waiting for king timing um or large timing etc on the smlks that's okay i want you to take all of them it's all about the mechanics right now i want you to take lots of trades lots of clicks lots of ticks as you've learned in the other videos next thing i want to focus on here in the middle 40 days i kind of think that you should do the uh, small account challenge in the last half of the 40 days so if you were to take this 40 day section and split it into the first 20 days and the last 20 days again all these are estimates i want to re reiterate that again it does not mean that you have to absolutely do 40 days here and 40 days here and 40 days here how you can do it faster you can do it slower but if you are you know struggling if you did this and you know say that you shortcutted this and you took all these did all the videos very very quickly and you finished this in 20 days and you find yourself struggling on any of these sections i would encourage you to go back and spend some more time maybe slow it down a little bit because we have found that this is my best guess and best estimate on what we found with the most successful traders in our crew have taken approximately 40 days on each of these sections to spend that time in there and spend it wisely. Use your time wisely. It's not just about killing time. It is about the time you spent there. It's the quality of the time. So quality time of those 40 days, engaging yourself to create good habits. And we believe that it takes you approximately this long for our system. Okay, keep that in mind. So. The small account challenge, what I want you to do is think about in this 40 days, think about it half and half. Again, if it is a full 40, then it's going to be 20 over here and 20 over here. Again, if you, you're going to do this whole thing in 20 days, fine. Then I want you to do the first 10 days over here, 10 days over here, you get the point. I want you to split this into two parts. The second half, I really want you to focus on the small account challenge study. The SAC, if you can hear us talking about the SAC, that is the small account challenge that I did against Ross Cameron and one year ago this month, uh, we, we are in July, that was July 2021 uh, where we started. It was a full four and a half months-ish of time. Lots of good trades in there. You guys should know what that is. That entire playlist is there and available for you to see every single day of that. I think that you should go through that small account challenge. There's a video on how to do this, but you're gonna go in there, download the market replay for this time period so that you are trading alongside me with this time period. So you will download that series of dates. We already have those already set up for you on the left-hand side of Discord. You'll go and download all of that and go and apply the small account challenge and walk through that with me. Learn how we're putting it all together. You've learned a whole lot over here in the, the videos with individual things like, hey, here's a headshot, here's a double cross, double move, here's this, there's that. Now watch it in real time, in real live markets, watching me execute on those, my thought process. I really spent the time as I'm trading through those to speak through what I'm seeing, how I'm seeing it, watching me approach the small, um, small, medium, large, king size timings. Watch me look at the delta lines. Watch me look at what the overall market is doing. Look at that, the high time frame, entering in on my low time frame, low risk, exiting positions quickly. These are all things that you want to, while I've talked about them, now it's time to see them in action. Watch me do it. And then you also apply it so that you start creating those habits for yourself, okay? Small account challenge is not to be overlooked this really is a key to your success watching me participating with me side by side putting it all together and then if you have questions on things I think a lot of this will start to get clarified when you see it in action I've heard this from many many students that they say having seen me do it in action real time was the game changer for them so do not overlook and spending your time here in the small account challenge practicing okay and again this is all about practice i want to make sure that you mention that this is all about execute 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 you should be spending a lot of time in market replay and in live sim here in this middle 40 days maybe more so on the market replay here and not so much live sim i think the majority of the live sim should be done over here in the final 40 days although both of these sections should be market replay and of course don't forget market replay also known as playback in Ninja Trader, Ninja Trader's old verbiage used to be market replay, um, back from old versions. Now they call it playback, but they still refer to the data itself as market replay. This is being able to trade the markets anytime by pressing play. 
Um, you've got the rewind capability in fast forward and playing it to high speed, etc. Really maximize your time there on the market replay, just like we've talked about in the training videos. You should know those. If you don't, go to the video where I talk about market replay and maximizing your time in market replay. Uh, make sure you go through those. Make sure you're practicing well. Remember that it's not just practice makes perfect. They say that, but that's not actually true. Although practice in general can help you. Like I don't even care if you're trading improperly right here in mechanics. You, yes, sure. You'll improve on your mechanics because you've executed on them. Um, but the mechanics are one thing, moving your stops and targets. But if you're entering in, you could also be teaching yourself bad habits here. What you want to do is perfect practice. Now, I'm less concerned with perfect practice in the middle 40 days, right? Here, I guess you would normally not take a trade against the MACV Ultimate in general, right? But during the middle 40 days, yes, because I want you to get into bad trades, right? I want you to get with, with uh, using those stops appropriately and seeing that if even with those losers, that you can still come out profitable if you have put those stops in the proper location and then allowed the targets to hit on themselves. Very important during this time period. And again, biggest thing in this section is quantity over quality. What do I mean by that? I want a lot of clicks, a lot of ticks, a lot of uh, what I've uh, said in one of those videos back here, we talked about more clicks, more ticks, right? So the more clicks that you've taken, the more ticks you'll make when you are live. You have got to have that practice. It is all about practice and quantity here in the middle 40 days, focusing on the losers, becoming a good loser, and then we will maximize the filtering and all of that in the final 40 days. This is your middle 40 days. Lay it out, pull up your calendar. You know, I've showed you guys before to, if you wanna get one of these, this is the Econo Day calendar. If you have just a regular calendar, that's fine as well. But go ahead and, you know, mentally visualize what you've got there. Put it on paper. There is, you know, I've, I'm a big believer in the vision boarding tools and things, putting them in front of your eyes. So ta tackle this middle 40 days, really put some, um, some real value into this 40 days. Take it seriously during this middle 40 days. Focus on the losers, getting into those mechanics. Get all that down in your middle 40 days. This is the key to this center piece here and everything else will kind of flow from this. So get started on this. If you have questions, put them down in the comments down below. Hopefully I covered everything on this one or in our chat box if I need to make any modifications to the video in the future for anything that I might have missed on that. But I think I've answered all those questions. Hopefully this helps you and I will catch you guys in the next one.